So I'm going to do a quick guide on how to speedrun Polybridge Alpine Meadows glitched. Now I suggest that you look up the tutorial I did on how to do the Space P glitch which is a glitch that allows you to build while in editing mode. Now I have to emphasize this, if you use glitches in Polybridge you will be shadow banned from the leaderboards meaning that any high score you get or any score you get in general will not be visible to others, only you can see it. Now, there are only three levels that have to be done glitchless. But mostly because it's faster, it's actually genuinely faster if you do it glitchless. The only level that has to be done glitchless, not because it's faster, because you actually have to, is this one. Because you can't really, you know, build like a road like this, because it's too steep for these cars. Now, level 1-1 one, one is a simple one. Now, you use tracing tool, trace out from right to left. You can't do it from left to right. It, I don't know why, it's picky. And make sure you have this curve selected. I'm pretty sure this is the default curve, but make sure you have this curve selected. Once you select it, it will always be selected, don't worry. And now, you hit 8, and that's it. It works and it's faster that way, actually. Now this one, you can do the space speed glitch right here and just build across like that this one can be done with space speed glitch as well just like that now this one I suggest you don't use root for this one space speed glitch as well there you go and this one I suggest you just build over here. You don't have you don't necessarily have to build the two bridges. I believe it's just slightly faster. Make sure to slow it down before you start building. Uh, that way the vehicle doesn't like fall off before you even have a chance to actually build it. Now this one you I suggest you do it uh, at a slower speed than usual because um, uh, if the boat crosses before you f go into this view, it's not going to uh, beat the level. Oh yeah, then for speed, there we go. And for simple jump, um, I suggest you like do three segments of road and then start moving them up like that. That you always get the perfect angle like that. So one two three and then one two and you'll get it every time now for overpass you use the tracing tool like this make sure it, it's over this red part of the of the boat or else it's gonna collide with it and it collided with it um i'm stupid <laughs> make it like that there we go that should be there we go perfect just like that there we go now paddle boat bridge you don't need um the hydraulics hydraulics are an invention of i don't know government organization that wants you to use hydraulics i don't know but some of these levels you really don't need hydraulics. Some levels in the in the next worlds, you have to put down hydraulic and then use the space peak glitch, or else it won't count for some reason. It's it's really finicky for some reason. Okay, in here, space peak glitch. By the way, uh, make sure that you don't do a sudden abrupt angle. Make sure it's a gentle, gradual slope. Because taxis in this game are actually stupid and they get stuck on everything so watch out so here space speed glitch again a bunch of just mo great majority of glitch levels are use space speed glitch and here um, here I suggest you do it at 20% unless you're super fast use tracing tool here use space speed glitch fill it in and then fill here There you go. Here, use tracing tool. Make sure that you're out that you're in this view before they grab the checkpoints or else the level won't complete. 
Now this is the only, this is one of the few levels that have to be done glitchless. So the strategy is building two sections of road here and then building wooden trusses. It doesn't really have to be a specific shape, you can really just eyeball it. It's really, there's a lot of leeway for it. Now you put a, head, you put a split joint here, you grab this, you copy it. For to copy you just have to hit C in this game, you don't have to do control. And then you mirror it horizontally with F. And then you place it here, and it will work. There you go. That's also the strat we use in Glitchless. Now here it's a lot easier and it's a lot faster to do it glitchless. And now the strategy is two pieces of roads here and then when you're here, do one, two, three. See, it like snapped three times to the grid. Now you grab a piece of wood and then you do this. Just like that. Now the reason why we're doing this with a piece of wood instead of like connecting it here is because um, you can just copy paste this and see it's already supported because if you connected this piece of road here then you would have to connect it here with an extra piece of wood and you don't have to do that and it's a lot faster it's like three seconds faster and it might not sound like a lot but trust me every second counts in this uh, in this game so there you go it's gonna break it and that's it doesn't really matter if you complete the levels uh, over budget or uh, over stress because the only point of speedrunning is just do it as fast as possible we really don't care the only um reason you would worry about that is if you're running a category 100 percent the entire campaign that way you actually do have to do the whole game 100 percent but that is it that's how you speed run alpine meadows glitched and i might do a tutorial soon about how to do alpine meadows glitchless which is a bit more technical and a bit uh requires a bit more strategy a bit more skill so yeah